This question relates to the removal of tariffs from the New Zealand market for ham. It's question three of the recent practice exam paper. And we're going to start by, I'm going to start, I should say, by illustrating the changes that are required in the question. So we've got here the market for ham with uh, the world price plus a tariff. So of course the effect of the tariff is it's going to raise the price in New Zealand. The tax at the border on top of the imported price will raise the price to New Zealand consumers. So you're asked to show the effect of the, the government removing this tariff. Well, the obvious effect of course is that the price will drop. So if we illustrate just a random position, a new curve, and what else are we asked for? We're asked to label a new PW, so let's do that, PW, now label a new level of ham imported. Well it looks like New Zealanders will produce that much, so that'll be now um, QSNZ and that will be at this new lower price that will be how much ham people want to consume so that'll be QDNZ and therefore the gap between what our suppliers will supply and what New Zealanders want will be the new level of imports. Shade the change in consumer surplus let's just use a different colour for the change in consumer surplus Consumer surplus clearly was the triangle above the world price, above the original world price and tariff, and below the demand curve. So this whole triangle up here, which I'm showing now, but we're asked to show the change in consumer surplus. So it's going to be the new bit that's added when the price dropped. So it's going to be this bit here. So that's the area there. And the last part of that question is label any new curves appropriately. Well, the only other thing that we should label there is yes, world. That's the supply curve for the world. Question B asks us for the meaning of uh, consumer and producer surplus. So, what does consumer surplus mean? Consumer surplus. Consumer surplus then is the overall benefit consumers receive by paying a price lower than what they would be willing to pay, and that's obviously reflected in the demand curve, and it's all measured in dollars. So, what about producer surplus? Well, it is the overall benefit producers receive by selling at a price higher than they would be willing to sell for, as reflected in the supply curve, also measured in dollars. And the last part of this question is once again to explain the impact on the market participants of the removal of the tariff. So let's start with consumers. Consumers obviously enjoy a drop in price from PW with the tariff to PW without the tariff. Uh, as a result, consumers gain access to more ham, uh, possibly including greater variety of hams and maybe some different quality. Uh, obviously, the overall benefit to consumers increases, and this is reflected in the shaded area of the graph, which shows the increase in consumer surplus. New Zealand producers, of course, are forced to lower their prices as a result of the uh, removal of the tariff, meaning their profits drop and um, probably some local suppliers will be forced out of the market. Local importers, though, on the other hand, will enjoy an overall increase in business and profits. The government, of course, loses the tax revenue from the tariff, and so there could well be implications on government spending in other areas. And finally, uh, efficiency clearly increases in this case. The addition uh, to consumer surplus far outweighs the loss of producer surplus once the tariff is taken off. 
and areas of dead weight loss that occurred um, when the tariff was in place, they too are returned to the market and enjoyed by consumers, and so therefore surpluses are once again maximised. Okay, I hope that was helpful.